Uh, so we look at a whole bunch of things on a weekly basis. We have a million Google Sheets, which I look at um, every other day, and I'm very lucky to have somebody like an intern help me with on a weekly basis. They learn a lot. Um, on Facebook, we are looking at Facebook's uh, native tool, their insights, so we measure our growth. And again, like growing numbers are really great, but beyond that, we wanna know what the engagement is. Because just because your audience numbers are going up, it doesn't mean, like that doesn't necessarily mean success for us. We really want people to be engaged and for a, a conversation to be created. So we're also looking at each individual post. We will track each individual post for weeks and track engagement numbers, impression numbers, and think about what that means. Like, was, what was it about that post and what was it about that show? And then for Twitter, we use uh, Tweet Reach, which tracks our own tweets and um, hashtag tracking as well, which measures, I mean, how many people are using the official hashtag, which is also not always really accurate, but that we use as a measurement of how successful our signage is. Because not everybody is online and we want people to know what they're looking at in real time. So signage is so important to us because it gives you an idea of what the show is. It directs you to our website and to our social media, obviously. So when we see the actual official hashtag being used, we know that I mean, we're doing a great job of spreading the word online, but it also means that signage is working. Instagram, we use a million spreadsheets for. We use Instagram Insights because it's the only thing you can use right now for Instagram because of the change in their API, which means like, we're sitting there looking at our phone at each individual post and tracking impressions and engagement. And we also track the official hashtag also. And also, that helps us dictate hashtags for future shows. For example, for a while we were using um, hashtags that used the letters PATH followed by a word from the show because we thought it associated something with us and that's something we want to do for our brand, but we saw people using it less and less because who wants to use like, you know, PATH chairs or something. It's not something that's going to come to your mind right away. So it helped us realize that we had to use something that was more intuitive for the everyday audience member. Flickr, even though it seems like it's not popular anymore, it has its own audience which uses it a lot and it's a great way to get our images out there. And it's still one of our most popular platforms and we get a ton of views from it and it's a great way to spread word about our shows. And Vimeo is what we use to upload our videos and embed them into our website, so that's crucial to us because it's what made us realize that people were actually watching our videos and it's worth investing in and that we also had a really great finish rate. And beyond that, that people were watching our longer videos. We used to think that our videos around two minutes were like the sweet spot because they weren't too long but we realized even when we made a video that was three or four minutes long, people were still watching the whole thing, which was very surprising for us, but was great because it means that we can create a more didactic form for people to learn about our show. Again, because we don't have a building or desk that you can ask questions at. 